Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So, I actually did it. Now this is chunk bound, so it kind of has like early alpha Minecraft style bugs to it obviously, but um, if I go down, you can see that it progressively will get darker and we'll get lighter and of course if we block this off becomes pitch black in here and we can even go down here and block this area off like so so the dynamic lighting actually it does work oh now it's too dark I am I need to reset my position <laughs> Whoops. Let's go recover my area. There it is. It's beautiful. But yeah, this is flood fill lighting. I'll show you the code in a second. It is definitely the worst code I have ever written. And you can see the chunk border issue because I'm not updating. Um, let me get out of here real quick. So technically it is pitch black down there, but you can't see it. Yeah, there we go. So you can see how it looks without being in the chunk. And you can see it happening dynamically. So if we actually do this, like so, See if I can get this to work right. Like that, we can block that off. And it will go around that like so. And it gets darker as it goes. Until it becomes pitch black. And of course, um, we can flood fill it again. So it's pretty nifty. And uh, now I can finally write high like I was trying to do in my debug stream of this. I still didn't, ah, oh, I didn't put it. <laughs> I didn't put in sneaking yet. Sneaking is going to be a bit difficult. This is, this is just the worst. Since it's more dynamic now, you can see that it will actually be the same shadow despite what's going on there. So it's pretty cool. Um, let's see, even if I start adding in more and more, it's still just flood filling. And then it just disappears, obviously. So you guys are going to um, either laugh or cry when I show you the code. And check this out if we do this like so it will actually progressively get darker in there so I think that's pretty nifty so now it's got pretty oh no, I'm gonna make this jump there we go <laughs> it's got pretty rudimentary um, lighting now so I think this is pretty nifty Why is this jump so difficult? <laughs> um, it's actually really cool. I I like the way this came out. The code is going to need some refactoring though. Let's see. Let's map out. Whoa. This is crazy. And you can see how it gets brighter as it flood fills. It looks semi-realistic, actually. I really like the way it came out. Uh, but let's get some more lighting going on in here. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is a chunk border. No? Hmm. That's kind of cool, actually. But let, 
the there we go let there be light well okay that's definitely a junk board <laughs> so I can see just like in minecraft and mine test it will mostly dynamically oh my god that's way too dark it will mostly dynamically do this besides chunk borders because you know it's a prototype so this is pretty nifty okay you better hold on to your hats here I'll like I'll do this we're gonna we're gonna hide this this is the flood fill method this is the index these are my notes oh boy this is the pro <laughs> sorry this is the prototype yes this is the most ridiculous code I've ever written um I'm not sure how many nests <laughs> I'm not sure how many nests <laughs> I'm not sure how many nests are in the <laughs> There's a lot of nests in here. Um basically what's happening is it's a processing method in here and there's a lot of uh, a lot of deaths and I did this because I don't want to break this out into different functions uh, because I'm testing this and this is <laughs> this is not how this is going to stay this is a prototype but you can see um, the methods within the methods of what's going on and then what we have in here is a queue to process everything and honestly uh, I wrote I wrote this like this on purpose but I didn't think it was gonna be this ridiculous and I uh, when I was done I was like laughing for like a good 10 minutes um, th these are obviously going to be <laughs> Sorry, I don't usually laugh like this on, on when I make my videos, but this is like the fourth take I've tried to do with this, and I, I just I can't look at this seriously because this code is uh, this is something else. But so, <clears throat> so we go through our X, Y, and Z of the chunk, and uh, there's a pseudo chunk which is a 3D array, and then we index the surroundings of that, and then we do a binary check. And of course, we add on to that, and then we do a boundary check to make sure it doesn't go out of out of bounds. And then we get if it's a sunlight ray, and the distribution queue is uh, an array list that's dynamic, and so it's doing well. It has items in it, and then it does the uh, first index, and it gets the current light of it, and then it will check if it has above current light 1 and then it will check around that and then it will do another binary and then it will do the indexing of that and then it will spread and it will recursively add until it's solved but um, well this this section will but as soon as it checks these boundaries binary it removes itself that it moves on to the next thing so it's not a stacked um, Q it's a recursive Q which is a lot faster and that's why this interesting code uh, runs pretty fast um, yeah I think this video was literally just half be laughing 
this is going to be interesting to see the comments on this. And so we process all this in this um, this cave light queue because all the normal overlight was processed over here because that's a that's a direct thing. And of course, um, we have set the light to zero to match that in case anything is missed in any kind of like random errors in memory or something and the cave light queue is always zeros and that's what's being set here as it's moving through it and then we're finally applying it to the chunks and this is actually getting called in here so there's a flood fill and then something else will update it I'm, what I'm gonna do is completely well obviously I'm gonna refactor this but um, I'm gonna make uh, if any of you guys remember like Minecraft Alpha I ha had the chunk updates thing like one update like 10 update etc etc um, I actually realized what that's for as I was writing this I'm like wait a second what if I put this into did chunk updates what if I have a chunk update scope so it updates the meshes and I'm like thinking and all of a sudden I had like this thought back to when I used to play like old old Minecraft and I'm like oh my god that's what chunk updates meant it was updating the meshes and I'm like I had this epiphany I just wrote really really poorly um, the old school flood fill algorithm I think I'm not, I'm not really sure. Obviously, this is probably nobody's ever written something uh, quite like this before, but uh, it does the job for now until I break it down into its own light class. <laughs> let's just let's just get the game running. Okay. When you're not looking at the code, this actually gets the job done quite well. And uh, let's do this right on this border. And we can plug this up real quick. And all right, so this is a chunk border here. No, this is light level zero. This is within it. But you can see that it makes its way around the wall. And uh, let me find, all right, so that's a chunk border here. So even if we have this light level here, and so, if we do this, you can see that the flood fill algorithm is snaking it through the, the porters. And of course, you do that. And of course, we can actually make this a little bit more interesting uh, by making it snake its way through, whoops, oh no, like that. And of course, let's, uh, let's get that like that, and actually, let's do this, like that, and you can see that it gets a lot darker a lot faster. Uh, this is a chunk border, so that thing's... It's kind of messed up on chunk borders right now, but uh, it's pretty good. So, anyways, um, I, I have no idea how that um, that interesting pyramid is running this fast, but it's uh, pretty cool. So, I guess we'll just mine to the bottom. Oh, not quite there. There we go. And of course, we can do this and I'm sure I'm gonna get like super frustrated trying to make this uh, into multiple functions that's why I wrote it as one singular mass because uh, writing flood fills are extremely complex so I think a good way to show this is to simply make a house and hopefully this is on a chunk border or in a chunk completely I'm not sure. Uh, here's a good test of that. Let's uh, 
Let's simply do this and find out if this entire thing is within a singular chunk. Because if not, you'll see it uh, partially turn black. So that's good. That's, that's good. And okay, so yeah, this is the chunk border. Um, very interesting. Oh, and that's the chunk border. What? Uh, so let's let's uh, let's do this. We'll move the house over a little bit. Like this. And you can see how the lighting is getting affected. Oh, it actually looks kind of like uh, there's a shadow, like the sun's over there. That's a strange effect, actually. But, um... Interesting. I must have missed something in the code. Because this... Oh. I didn't miss anything in the code. I like how quick I was to be like, yeah, that uh, that pyramid I wrote, that thing is done. Um, but something cool, you can actually see the lighting if you have windows. And uh, let's just gotta, yeah, let's just do this. So you can see how it gets darker back here. And if we do that, it gets darker in this corner versus that corner. So it's pretty nifty. But anyways, guys, hopefully, hopefully you didn't mind my laughing too much. Now I'm going to uh, stop this video and probably go laugh a lot more as I, uh, as I shut down my computer. And uh, hopefully I uh, fix that pretty quick because uh, the game's actually getting some serious uh, momentum to it now that the engine's been uh, implemented properly. Um, I think something really cool will be uh, day and night cycles, but that will have to wait a bit because I need to actually fix this and you saw the code, but anyways guys, hopefully you got a good laugh out of this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.